With threats to our nation waiting around every corner, adaptability is more important than ever. When conditions change without notice, quick strategic thinking is crucial. And with obstacles consistently impending, determination is essential in overcoming them. It's this willingness, decisiveness, and resilience that sets Marines apart. With our fighting spirit, we don't just fight battles, we win them. Marines are the constant our nation counts on to fight the unknown. And through adaptable problem solving, we do just that. Learn more at Marines.com. With lucky landslots, you can get lucky just about anywhere. Dearly beloved, we are gathered here today to... Has anyone seen the bride and groom? Sorry, sorry, we're here. We were getting lucky in the limo and we lost track of time. No, Lucky Land Casino, with cash prizes that add up quicker than a guest registry. In that case, I pronounce you lucky. Play for free at LuckyLandSlots.com. Daily bonuses are waiting. No purchase necessary. Void were prohibited by law. 18 plus. Terms and conditions apply. See website for details. The regular season is heating up. New stars are emerging, and that means more opportunities to win up to 25 times your cash on prize picks. The most exciting way to play daily fantasy sports. Just select two or more players, pick more or less on their projection on a wide variety of stats, and place your entry. It's that easy. Let it fly to turn $10 into $250 with just a few taps. Easy gameplay, quick withdrawals, and injury insurance on your picks are what make Prize Picks the number one daily fantasy sports app. Watch your favorite players and get paid doing it this basketball season. See your entries make progress during the game or make new entries for the second half in the fourth quarter. Three pointers, assists, rebounds, and everything in between. Between are yours for the taking. Join the Prize Picks community of more than 7 million players who have already signed up. Right now, Prize Picks will match your first deposit of up to $100. Just download the Prize Picks app and use code GET100. That's code GET100 on Prize Picks for a first deposit match of up to $100. Prize Picks, pick more, pick less. It's that easy. It's Tokyo time, and Anything But Footy brings you the views of the athletes in action just before their event. Cyclist Lizzie Dynan is a London 2012 silver medalist and a former world champion. Along with Anna Shackley, she's in action for Team GB in her third Olympics in the women's road race around the Fuji Speedway, Sunday morning, London time. Lizzie, you're there, you're in Japan. How is it all so far? Yeah, so far, really nice. I mean, it was obviously a very long journey to get here, but we're in a beautiful hotel at the foot of Mount Fuji. And yeah, so far, so good. What is the course like and will it suit you for the road race? Yeah, the, the road race is quite rolling, quite lumpy. Um, so it's you need to be a good climber, but you also need to be a bit punchy. And that's the kind of rider I am. So I'm pretty pleased with the course, yeah. And this, as we know, is your third Olympics. Very different build-ups, I imagine, for every one of them. How has this been different? <laughs> yeah, it's crazy when I think back to London and the experience there. And then again, Rio, totally different. I mean, in the last Olympic cycle, I got married. I've had a child. There's been a pandemic. <laughs> There's sort of everything has been crammed into in yeah, five years now, I suppose. So, yeah, the build-up's very different. I feel like a very different bike rider um, and person, but very happy and excited to be here. And how have you planned, coped, strategized that delay of 12 months, if you like? I think I was one of the lucky ones to be a cyclist. I mean, our calendar continued. I mean, it was, you know, some cancellations, some postponements, but in the majority of races went ahead. So I was lucky enough that I still had other things to focus on. You know, I think uh, the sports where they had little racing, I really respect the fact that they've managed to keep motivated for so long because it, it would have been a challenge. But yeah, like I say, I've been fairly lucky. And during lockdown and during the past year, everyone has gone out and bought a bike. Everyone's gone cycling. As a professional cyclist, that must warm your heart. Yeah, I love it. I really think that's amazing. Um, cycling has so much to offer for so many people. It's a really sociable sport um, and I, I hope that it has brought some communities together and given some people, you know, a healthier lifestyle and, um, and made friends along the way, I hope. You're a cyclist. Your husband's a cyclist. Do you go cycling for pleasure? Is it still something that you do with Orla as part of your leisure time? Yeah, definitely. I mean, not as much as I'd like. I think that's something I'm looking forward to in retirement, those kind of coffee rides that I think, you know, most of my friends and family think is my job. I wish that was the reality. Um, but no, yeah, we do, we do ride together quite a lot, but um, not as many coffee rides as I'd like. 
How are things different out there then at the moment in terms of the protocols and some of the rules and regulations that I'm guessing you're having to live under? Yeah, I mean, it's very different. We landed in Tokyo airport and it took us four hours to leave the airport just because of the amount of paperwork and testing and all those things. Um, and, you know, it's just odd, isn't it, for everybody? We're still keeping distance from each other. We're still not able to interact in the way we would normally. But um, so far, I feel very safe. And I think um, the, the protocols are, are really strict, as you'd expect in Japan. But I think so far they've been successful so it's good and the local people you've met because we've heard lots of stories about how public opinion is against these games what's been the welcome like really friendly yeah i mean we're out um we're out of tokyo so perhaps it's a little bit different we're in a slightly different region we're not in a state of emergency in this part of japan um and yeah we've, we've seen loads of cyclists out on the bike today lots of konnichiwas lots of people saying hello so yeah we've, we've been pleasantly surprised actually and obviously your event is very early on in the program so you'll compete and you'll be home just as for many people it's all kicking off will you miss being around the olympic environment um no i miss my daughter more <laughs> so i'm happy to go home definitely um i think once you've experienced something like london i was very fortunate to be there and experience the london village and really enjoy the atmosphere and i think no matter what, it, it just wouldn't compare to that. So I'm happy I had that experience and I'm even happier I get to go home. <laughs> and five years ago when we spoke ahead of your event, you were in the eye of this storm that wasn't of your doing. You seem really relaxed and quite chilled out about all things at the moment a week to go. Is that the way you just are now or will things ramp up as you get closer to your event? Uh, no, I'm a much more relaxed athlete and person in general. I think um, if you go through difficult things professionally and personally, it does make you stronger. And I definitely feel like, yeah, Rio was a <laughs> traumatic time for me professionally and personally. And, and, you know, I got through it and I feel that, yeah, this is easy in comparison. <laughs> and when we've spoken before, you've always said to me, you always feel good when you've got the number on your back. So how will you be feeling at the start of that Olympic road race? You have one silver medal in your pocket. What's the ambition this time around? Yeah, absolutely. I mean, I'm, I'm definitely a championship performer, which is an advantage, but there's no doubt I'll be extremely nervous. So I'm looking forward to it. I'm looking forward to getting stuck in. And I think actually for me to be able to come away with a result here, I really have to be willing to lose it in order to win it. It's going to be quite a tactical race. So, um, yeah, I need a bit of luck on my side too. Well, we'll wish you that luck. All the very best. And we'll catch Thank up on the other much. side. Cheers, bye-bye. This is Tokyo Time from Anything But Footy, the Olympic and Paralympic sport podcast. Follow for more from the 2020 Games in 2021. Sports Social Podcast Network. Okay, round two. Name something that's not boring. A laundry? Ooh, a book club! Computer solitaire, huh? Ah, oh, sorry. We were looking for Chumba Casino. That's right. Chumbacasino.com has over 100 casino-style games. Join today and play for free for your chance to redeem some serious prizes. Chumbacasino.com. No purchase necessary. Forward, prohibited by law. 18 plus terms and conditions apply. See website for details.